Oh look. Pitch blindness out here. There's the moon. Yeah. Well anyways, almost I almost gotta do this to be honest, so decided to tell another throwback this story and this is the time that I was held hostage in an armed bank robbery. That's right. So, um, about 10 years ago, so it's the year 2007, anyway, so in 2007, um, my mother and I, we decided to go to the bank, and by the way, the bank, um, we went to is actually still standing to this day, it's still at the same location, and it still looks the same. Anyway, so, I think it's called Bank of Tennessee or something like that, let me, let me look at that. Well, I got it wrong, it's... It's uh, called First Tennessee Bank, not Bank of Tennessee. Well, close enough. Anyway, so we decided to uh, go into the bank to um to uh, put some money in my mom's account, and this, I decided to go with it, which is probably the biggest mistake. Had I known this was gonna happen, I wouldn't have gone in the first place. But anyway, so we arrive at the bank, we get out of the car, of course, and we hold on a minute. No sign to it. Anyway, so we get out of the car, of course. We walk into the bank, and we get in line, and about 60 seconds later, four guys wearing black hoodies and uh, black ski masks, armed with assault rifles and shotguns, come into the bank, or they kick the door open, and they yell, this is a raid. Everybody get down on the floor, you'll regret it. So we get down onto the floor, and then I see uh, the bank robbers whispering something to each other, or probably, I don't know, whatever. Well, anyways, after that, um, one of the robbers go down, uh, they, one of the robbers uh, goes to the vault, and the other two, um, well, the other two stay in the lobby with us, with the crowd, to make sure we don't we did not saw anything, and then the alarm goes off, and then I heard one of the bank robbers yell, you shouldn't have done that, and then, I'll never forget this moment, and then, then I heard some gunshots, and then I heard, I think it was the manager, I don't know, then I heard someone screaming in pain, and a few minutes later, the uh, police, they show up along with the SWAT team, and um, then I hear a uh, intercom go off. This is what they said. This is the police. We have it completely surrounded. Come out of the bank now with your hands in the air. That's what they said. And surprisingly, they surrendered to the police instead of having a suit out with the, with, you know, the police. So, um, they... Uh, went out of the bank with their hands up, they, uh, put their guns on the ground, and then, I see, um, the officers handcuffing the suspects, and, yeah, they threw them in the back of a police car, and they went off to the, uh, nearest prison, and, yeah, one of the officers, uh, one of the, uh, officers came in to make sure we were, we were okay, and, thankfully we were all okay, so, and my mother and I, we got back into the car, and we went back home immediately, and that was the story. I mean, to be honest, I do not think I'll ever go back to that bank ever again, because, well, that happened ten years ago, and to be honest, I'm still kind of scarred from that. I have not gone, we haven't gone back to the bank since then, and to be honest, I do not think we will ever go back. Because, obviously, we do not want a repeat of that. So, that's the story. I mean... It was just... It almost seemed like it was a movie, to be honest. It was like the movie Heat or the video game Payday. It really did. It almost didn't even seem real. Anyways, that's it.